we've got a fun trailer to talk about. We had the new season four trailer drop for What We Do in Shadows. I freaking love this show. So I love good. this so much. <laughs> I I will watch Matt Barry do anything. That man could read the phone book, and I'd just be like, yes, how could this not be fun with that wonderful cadence of his? It's so good. <laughs> You're like American, Matt Barry. You've got that kind of big bravado voice. I do? Yeah. By God? Mm -hmm. Do I? <laughs> now that I've given up my gatekeeper status? There we go. That would have been a great gatekeeper voice. I know, though. right? And it was. It Missed was. Missed opportunities. I know. And people were like, I, I could have been a cult leader. Could Aww. have been great. You still could be. Maybe I should, you know. <laughs> that's. I, I'll, I'll have a 401, yeah. not a 401k. What, what does it call a, 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 a nonprofit status? Yeah, there you and go. And start my cult. You can just sell crystals out in Venice. Yeah, that's how the, you get started. The new here. Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. <laughs> That's me. No, but, you know, this show, I have to say that you think about great TV shows that have been spawned from movies. Mm -hmm. I think one of, maybe not, maybe the greatest might have been MASH. You know, MASH, the, the film, of course, and then, mm -hmm. of course, the long-running TV series with Alan Alda. Um, incredible. This show has to be in the conversation. I think what we do in the shadows, I, you know, I, as I've said on the show before, I bought the movie on Blu-ray. I had not seen it. And it was one of those things like Spielberg's Lincoln. I didn't see it in the theater. It was just, it sat on the top of the pile and I kept moving it down as I bought other things. And then one day I'm like, okay, it's time to watch what we do in the shadows. My God, did I love that movie. It's so good. It, it, it was so good and so creative. I mean, Taika Waititi, that was the first time I was aware of who he was. This show completely lives up to the promise of the film, expands, extrapolates, goes beyond. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. And season four, I mean, that it's got a season four, it might do like 10 seasons like MASH did or whatever. I was going to say, this show definitely has legs, and I love what we're seeing for season four, too. If you guys haven't checked out the trailer already, it is fantastic. We get Nadja rapping at the very end oh. of it, which is... <laughs> It's so good. So good. I'm so excited for Nandor's quest to find a new wife. <laughs> and then his old wives show up. Which, uh, talk about a weird cult there, having 35 of your exes show up. Ooh. Although, could be a good night. Yeah. It depends on how everyone gets along. We'll see. And of course, we also have baby Colin running around too, figuring out what kind of vampire he wants to be. A musical theater loving vampire. Oh, yes. I mean, <laughs> you know, musical theater vampires need more representation in this world. So I'm 100%. glad we're going to get it. Yeah. Uh, it's a good time to like musicals, it seems. I, you know, it, it, look, this looked delightful. I can't wait. I, I love, I love uh, the show and I love the movie and it's... It's, again, genre entertainment. Exactly. I mean, it's just great comedy wrapped up with a vampire and werewolf bow. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to see a lot more of these kind of genre shows now, too? Because of the success of things like this? Because of the Taika Waititi like, essence that's getting injected into so much media right now? I think the, it's hard to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, not everyone is Taika Waititi. That's and true. you can't, just like everyone's not James Gunn. I mean, well, we'll talk about it soon. But I, I think the opening credits of Peacemaker have influenced people. Yes. And uh, we, will, we will talk about that influence shortly. <laughs> um, but, but there is definitely something to be said for that. The problem is, you know, everybody looks at a singular creator who makes something and says, oh, we, we got to find the next this person. Yeah. You can't find the next this person. There's only one of them. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is you have to find other maverick creators who have something to offer that's different than this person, mm -hmm. but also unique to them that we haven't seen before. Yes. And I think that's what we want. I mean, originality. I love that. We want a yes and the TV landscape. You, you know, That's an improv thing. People. It is. You know, right. FX comes out with some great shows. Uh, it seems they like really uh, do. They, they have Atlanta, right? They have the uh, Atlanta. They, they have, have the what bear we do in the out. shadows. They had Legion before, which I mm -hmm. really enjoyed. Yep. Um, it's weird because no one really talks about FX or mentions mentions FX when there's a show we're talking about, but it's a it's a good network. You know, you're absolutely right. I mean, they've done some great stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I side quest with you, Ray. I'm going to need you to watch The Bear when this premieres because it's about chefs in Chicago, and we're we're going to have to watch. This oh, show I read together. something about that. Is that on FX too? It's on FX. Okay. And it's got Maddie Matheson in it, so I'm okay. so excited. We Real chefs on a show about chefs. It's funny because a show, show called The Bear reminds me of two guys I know live in West Hollywood. I was going to say, it makes me think of every time I get to go to P-Town, go to Providence. Mm. It's a fun time there. Mm -hmm. They have a bear festival. 
Happy Pride Month, everybody. Well, guys, the question, though, is for you. What do you think about the new What We Do in Shadows trailer? Is this a show you're watching? Do you think it has the legs and fangs that Rob and I think it does? Let us know the in the comments legs down and below. Fangs. We want to I'm thank the fire. sponsor of today's video, Me Undies. Guys, it is summertime, which means you got a lot of great fun plans, but make sure part of those plans is wearing Me Undies. Because Me Undies wants to make this summer the most comfortable one that you'll never forget. Because when you're living your best life in the summer, the last thing you want to worry about is butt sweat and junk swamp. Listen, when you're feeling comfy and feeling good, you're more present to enjoy all your summer plans. It's like science or something. Me Undies has the lightest and most breathable fabrics to keep you cool and comfortable wherever you go. From undies, bralettes and socks, loungewear and swimwear, you can find something for all of your plans. Me Undies also releases new prints all the time, like their limited edition Pride collection. You can match with your partner, friends, or or even your dog. Find your ultimate summer comfort in sizes extra small to 4XL. You guys know I have been wearing Me Undies for a couple of months now, and I will never go back to regular underwear. And right now, Me Undies has a great offer for all the viewers and listeners of the John Campia Show. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off. For a limited time, if you sign up for their free to join Me Undies membership, you get 25% off your first membership item. So to get 15% off your first order or 25% off your first membership item, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies.com slash campia. That's meundies.com slash campia.